All right. Okay. So I started to diet, the five bite diet. So you can only take five bites every meal. So I'm taking like these really huge bites, and then I get to throw all this food away. So earlier I did the baby food diet, which was great too. You just eat 14 jars of food, right? So that, I don't know. There's so many good ways to lose weight, right? <laughs> Have you completely lost it? Because sometimes your rambling is just plain nuts. I mean, listening to you, it's like turning on crazy radio. You don't make any sense. Do you actually grasp that? Open your eyes, for Christ's sake. The world is much bigger than you think. I have seen things that would make your head explode. Seriously, if given some of the knowledge that I possess, your head would literally explode. Boom. Look, relax, man. Chill. I just didn't know you were so into that stuff is all. I think I finally solved my lacking libido problem. First, I started sleeping with a fluoride crystal on my forehead, and it began releasing my sexual energy every night. Then, I started rubbing a red garnet on my temples, just a few minutes a day, as a root chakra stone. The garnet is said to be excellent for manifestation. It's used to ground one's dreams in reality, bringing abundance, prosperity, and realization of those dreams. And it made me feel hella sexy. Aren't crystals just great? Okay, really? Like, really, really? Okay, you, you're joking, right? Because please tell me that you are joking. That is the weirdest shit I have ever heard coming from you. Ever. You are so narrow-minded, it hurts. If everyone was like you in the world, the world would suck. Don't you ever question the fabric of the universe? I mean... How can the moon just stay up there? Okay, all right. <laughs> you know what? You're right, you're right. You can have an opinion on whatever you want. I just think that it's pretty far out, okay? That's all. Hello there. I finally found myself a new hobby. Took forever, but cryptozoology is it. It's the hidden zoology of those elusive beasts that roam the hard to reach places on Earth. It's so fascinating, and the evidence is just piling up. You've probably heard of the chubacabra and the yeti, those guys, but I mean, I've seen the proof. They're real. I'm gonna go with no comment on that. Too friggin' far-fetched, man. I don't believe you have a top floor for your elevator to even go to. I wasn't expecting this from you. Your aura just changed color. I'm not telling you which color, but it means that you suck. Hey, hey, easy bro, okay? You're entitled to your opinion, whatever crackpot opinions you have.
the other day at Pottery Fest, I don't know what happened, but suddenly Jason and I start going full-on ghost with the wet clay. I mean, his, his like our hands were in there and he was all up behind me and we like channeled our sexual energy into these vases and some ashtrays, but in front of the entire class. I mean, I felt like a young Demi Moore was guiding my hands along just this out-of-body experience. It's crazy. <laughs> Have you completely lost it? Sometimes your rambling is just plain nuts. I mean, listening to you, it's like turning on crazy radio. You don't make any sense. Do you actually grasp that? I wouldn't have told you this unless it really meant something to me. And now you're just being such an arrogant asshole. I'm never telling you anything again. Look, relax, man. Chill. I just didn't know you were so into that stuff is all.